This video describes the first steps in creating a study from volumetric data using NNT software. It is brought to you by Images. We are a Conebeam Imaging and Education Center in Denver, Colorado. NNT is the software supplied with Newtom Conebeam CT machines. It is often necessary to make corrections in the orientation of the images because of patient malposition during the scan. We will go over how to make those corrections in this video. We begin by opening NNT software with a double click from the icon on your desktop. The NNT screen opens. Click on File, click on Open by Document, Click on Volumetric Data. In order to alphabetize your list, click Patient Name, and then select the patient you want to study. The software loads the data, and the initial screen opens. Click on Volume Orientation. Click on ISO, and the plus sign to set your slice thickness at 0.4. I like to begin with the orientation looking at the axial slice. You can see that there are two blue lines perpendicular to each other. Using your mouse you can see that you can rotate the lines with the curvy arrows or by moving your mouse to a different position, move the lines laterally or vertically. I'm going to move the middle line or the vertical line to the midline on the patient and make sure that its orientation is right through the middle, through the midline. There we go. Next, I'm going to look at the sagittal section. You can see that part of the image is illuminated and part of it is not. I'm going to use the bottom line of the illuminated portion to orient this box parallel to the occlusal plane. By moving my mouse to the corner of the illuminated image, I can rotate the box and use the bottom line to parallel the occlusal plane. Next, I'm going to look at the upper image, which is the coronal plane, and make sure that this is also a parallel to the occlusal plane. This is pretty good. I'll make a small adjustment here. Now, because we want to see the whole image, we're going to use the little red dots that are at the midline to open or extend the visual area. Remember, the diagnosing doctor is responsible for any pathology in the zone of the image. So you want to make sure you can at least make one of your images so you can look at the um, full extent of the data. We've now extended everything, reoriented. I'm going to press Start, and the um, visualization window opens. This is where you set the light and dark uh, values and properties of your image. If you look right here, you see a lot of graininess. I like to reduce the sharp just a little so that goes away, but the remaining image is still quite clear. I can make the image darker and lighter by adjusting these sliders. I can slide through my axial slices with this slider and see that I can, I'm getting the direct the this the type of contrast that I want to see. Click apply. Now we can insert a label by typing in, in um, 
the plan for this patient, and this is an implant. In number 20 position. Click OK. And now we have generated our, st our beginning study. This concludes NNT software tutorial number one. In it, we showed you how to create a study from the volumetric data of your patient. We also showed you how to change the orientation of the images for a better study product. The next NNT software tutorial number two will show you how to make standard images in a study.